Well, hello. Today we were at the shop. We were at the shop today. Um, I'm basically here by myself. Walter's here, but he's in the shipping zone, so he's a, he's back there watching a movie or something. Andrew is at the house. He is waiting for a metal detector delivery. We have a bunch of metal detectors coming to the house, and they won't just leave them there. Somebody has to be there to receive them and sign for them and all of that. So he's at the house waiting for that, and I decided, you know what? I'm going to go over to the shop, and I'm going to dig through some boxes. That sounds like fun. So... <laughs> You know how we've been kind of keeping track of how much we've made on all of the stuff that we've had upstairs on the third floor. I thought it would be fun to do the same here with the stuff that we're cleaning out from this antique booth clean out. So, so far, I think we've done like three or four videos of going through boxes here at the shop from the antique booth clean out. And so far from the videos that we've posted prior to this one, we have paid $100 for all of that stuff. I'm pretty sure all of that stuff was $100. And so I'm gonna put up here in the corner how much we've made so far on that stuff. Now we're gonna start going through new stuff and then we're gonna have to figure out a deal with Eric on the new stuff, but uh, we're just gonna dive right in. I've already pulled the boxes over here. I've got you guys a little bit higher today. I decided I didn't want to sit on the floor, so I've got a nice seat here. You guys are in the window. There's a bright window. People are going to be walking by like, who's this girl sitting in the window talking to herself? It's going to be fun. Oh. This banana box is a little difficult. that Andrew usually does for me because I can never get the lids off. Okay, ha ah, ha ha, we did it. Right off the bat, we've got something really cool and fascinating and a little bit weird. We have this. <laughs> and um, I'm not really sure why. I don't know, it's not like a wig, it's just like a, a braid. A braid of human hair. It's kind of weirding me out a little, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so, back in the day, <laughs> back in the Victorian era, uh, they used to make jewelry out of hair, and I just, I find it fascinating. I think it's, it's so intricate and it's so beautiful. But you know those little hair receivers that we come across a lot? And I mean, now people use them. Seuss talked about using them as little, uh, putting little fragrance beads in them. Um, I know people use them sometimes for cotton balls and stuff like that. But back in the day, when they would sit at their vanity and brush their hair, and they'd take the hair out of their brush and they'd put it in the little hair receiver, and then they'd make jewelry or different crafts with the hair. And it was a thing back in Victorian Victorian era and also they would make mourning jewelry out of hair so once when a loved one died they would take a lock of their hair and they would make this hair jewelry it's really fascinating I find it really cool some people would find it gross again there could be very many reasons why this hair is in a box um, one of those very many reasons could be because possibly the person passed away and their hair was cut off and saved I mean that's one reason which is a little sad and strange at the same time um, I just don't know there there is some gray in the hair so that makes me think that they were a little bit older I don't know we're just gonna move on from that <laughs> I, I don't know if I can sell that I don't know if you can sell human hair I mean I know you can sell Victorian morning jewelry and hair jewelry so I guess you could sell human hair, but I don't know what anyone would use it for. I mean, I, I know people use it for wigs, but that's not enough to use for a wig. So I just, I don't know. It's really cool though. It's interesting. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> um, that, that's actually probably one of the strangest things that I've discovered in these boxes. I'm not gonna lie. So far, who knows? Maybe we'll find like, a preserved human skin tattoo in a 
in a box or something. That would be weird. I know somebody who's found one of those. All right, uh, <laughs> moving on from weird and morbid finds, we have a Fort Lauderdale souvenir shell tray. Very um, beachy for your beach decor. <laughs> My friend uh, Tanya, who does reclectic decor, um, you guys remember her from over at Marketplace of Le Moines. She's since moved right across the street there at Carlisle Antique Mall. She has a booth there now. Um, but she has been posting on Instagram a lot about like beachy decor. She's really into like staging beach stuff now. So I think that, that kind of reminds me of what she's been doing on Instagram. It's pretty cool. I will put her Instagram down in the comments, if I remember. I'm always really bad about that. Um, here we've got a nice little Victorian, I don't know, is that a postcard? It looks like it's colorized. What do they have on here? Standing photo frame. Oh, so they're just selling the frame. I don't know if that's a postcard or a photo, but it looks colorized. It, then the frame does have some age to it. That's pretty neat. I like that. Maybe that's her hair. Ooh, plot twist. And this is part of the reason I grabbed this box. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at it. I saw this in the box when I was grabbing them and I'm like, I'll take those two boxes right there, including this. <laughs> this is fantastic. It's not marked and I'm not sure um, immediately if it's Hager. It could have had a sticker on it, that is possible. It's not one of the designs where I'm like, that's absolutely Hager, but it is possible that it is. I mean, there was a lot of companies making the horses and the gazelles and all of that, so it's, you know. But uh, they've got this marked for 15. I think I could get a little bit more than 15 for this. It's kind of a fun purplish gray. I really like the glaze on it. I think the chartreuse and, and the really bright colors can do a lot better, but I kind of like that, that purplish gray. And there's no chips and cracks. So it is a planter. It is not a TV light, but that is neat. I like that. Ooh, what is this? It's a lid. A lid to what? Oh, a lid to the hair box. Oh, well that makes things really interesting because got Chinese on it. Oh, maybe that's a clue. Of course, they don't read Chinese or maybe it's Japanese. I'm sorry. I don't know the difference, but maybe some of my viewers can decipher that for us and give us some clues. I don't know. I might be holding it upside down even, but that's really interesting. Or maybe it's just a random box and it really gives us no clues at all. Oh, look, I'm totally uh, a little bit Oh, look, <laughs> another piggy creamer. What? I just sold the other one. The other one had green ears. This one has pink ears. This one is more natural and um, he doesn't have some weird infection in his ears that makes his ears turn green. He also has a souvenir sticker on there for Natural Bridge, Virginia, which I have passed through actually on my way to Texas, believe it or not. And we also have, this one is the Shawnee Elephant Creamer. Is it though? Is it really? It probably is. Um, this one is, oh, it's, it's got a mark on the bottom, USA. Shawnee Elephant Creamer. And I think a lot of you had suggested that this was the Shawnee Elephant Creamer. And when I went to look it up, I'm like, you know what? That just doesn't look like the Shawnee Elephant Creamer. And then I think this was the one I was seeing when I, when I saw the Shawnee Elephant Creamer. All right, the last item in this box. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Oh. Wow, okay. This is actually really neat. Oh my gosh, it just fell open. Ah, I'm so glad it didn't break right off the hinges. This is really cool. Um, I don't know what kind of age this has, to be honest. I mean, it obviously has some sort of age. Uh, celluloid cherub box set. 
So if the pieces are made from celluloid, gosh, I don't think the box is made of celluloid though. I will say that um, the box is made of wood and I think it has a celluloid, like the celluloid is applied to it. That's possible, but the entire box is not celluloid. The box is wood. This is amazing. This is really cool. I was not expecting that. Oh, my glasses are falling down. I was not expecting that when I opened it up. I have to be honest. I was not expecting that at all. This is just amazing. Like, I, I was not, I left this in the box for last because I'm like, oh, that's kind of whatever. And then I opened it up and I was like, oh, my gosh. How cool is that? Ah, we're going to lose the brush. Now, it, there, it, it does say on their tag, as is, and the reason for that is it's got age. There's a crack in the brush there. All I've had today is coffee. That's why I'm shaking so much when I'm showing you guys stuff. Um, you can see here, but look at the back of that. It's got, like, sailboats and birds. This is a really neat set. I'm, like... Gosh, I don't know what this would be. A little hook. I don't know what the hook would be for. There's a nail file. Oh, it's probably for your nails. It's for your nails, right? Because there's a nail file and then a the little hook and a little brush. Maybe a toothbrush or for your nail. Probably for your nails, not a toothbrush. That would be weird. Anyway, this is... An... That's pretty neat. I'm going to say I really like that. It's a shame it's got damage like back here. You can see that's, you know, where the celluloid is pulling away. I would love to put an age to that. I'm thinking probably 30s or 40s. It could be earlier. There's no mark on the bottom. But yeah, oh, absolutely. I love that. I love that. That's great. Okay, I'm going to put stuff back in the box, and then we are going to move on to the next box. Because I actually have two boxes pulled out. I'm thinking as we go through these boxes, we could pretty much do about two boxes. That's enough for a video, right? And now I did check my settings today to make sure that we weren't in slow motion. <laughs> oh boy. A lot of you are asking to see that footage. And I mean, when I say it's in slow motion, I mean, it's not like in like, I mean, it's, it's in such slow motion that when I first started editing it, I'm like, I hit play. Why isn't it moving? Like, that's how slow it is. It's not even moving. When, when I hit play, I'm like watching it and I can't figure out why it's not moving. And uh, it's not just slow motion. It is like standstill motion. I don't know what I did. And, and there's no way to save the audio. So, oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this. Ah! All right, so this box, clearly, let's see if we can focus. I'm going to focus. Hopefully some of that brightness goes away. Um, so this box right here looks like we've got some modern stuff. You guys know me in modern stuff. I'm just out of my element. But I'm going to show you anyway because I know a lot of you are into the modern stuff. Um, <laughs> let's just tackle this. Here we go. This box is absolutely packed full. Um. I'm gonna let it pass. Um, we've got a pottery book, a book on pottery. It is a uh, price of one shilling. Shelley Potteries, Longton, England. That's interesting. Yeah, the, the Edward Walker Company, Fifth Avenue, New York. So that's interesting. I might have to look that up. And then we've got these. These Funko Pops, I think is what they're called. I only know that because Ashton has a few. Um, these ones, I guess, are Star Wars. <laughs> I don't know a darn thing about Star Wars. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I know you, a lot of you probably gasped over that statement, but when I was younger, I watched the original Star Wars, and that's about it. I'm, I'm good on those ones, and then after that, it just got too weird for me because it just kept evolving, and, and this Baby Yoda thing, I, I don't know. Andrew just keeps talking about a baby Yoda and I have no idea what's going on. I think he like even ordered one off the internet and 
I don't know where it is because I don't think I've seen it yet. But he ordered one on the internet, a Baby Yoda. And I just... Okay, Andrew. <laughs> All right. Um, this is uh, Independence Day Funko Pop. Barbie. Um, Sleeping Beauty, as a matter of fact. This might be gifted to Juliet. I may need to talk to Eric about that. I'm sure he'll be like, yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> Usually when it comes to that stuff. He's fine with it. Class of 1997. Wow, that was 10 years before I graduated. <laughs> oh boy. 1997, okay. Graduation Barbie. We've got another one. Wonder Woman. Ooh, superhero girls. Like I said, I'm completely like, I, I don't even know anything about the modern stuff. I'm just pulling it out of the box and showing you, and then we will get back to the vintage stuff. Let's get this stuff out of the way. More of these, this is. Attack on Titan. Another one of those. And. Oh, I know Teen Titans Go because that was one of Ashton's favorite shows. And we've got Raven. We've got actually two Ravens. Yes, two Ravens. Ashton loved that show. I remember one birthday I got him all of this Teen Titans stuff because he was obsessed with Teen Titans for the longest time. All right, so I think that's a lot of the modern stuff. Oh, we've got this. Bottom of the toy box junk. This is perfect for Juliet. Oh, there's a thermometer in there. We actually need a thermometer. I went to the store the other day looking for a thermometer and I couldn't find one. We had to throw ours away because the kids were playing with it and it just wouldn't take, th it wouldn't take thermometers. It wouldn't take temperatures anymore. I had to toss it. So this might come in handy. I don't know if this one works though. It's the bottom of the toy box junk, so probably not. But that phone, the kids would have so much fun playing with that phone. Yeah, pay school tax of $150. <laughs> All right. Oh, All right, let's see what else we got. All right, so now we've got, oh, this is Andrew's stuff. 1941 blue and white graduation issue. His master's voice catalog of records. And you've got the little Victrola dog down there. Nipper. Hmm. All right. Adventures of Willie Winters. Little book. Um, these appear to be medals. Ooh. Bag of military bars and accessories. Again, this is an Andrew thing. I don't know the first thing about any of these. We've got casino coins, casino coins, Davy Crockett patch, and Manassas Bull Run reenactment participant. Oh, we've got these things. Oh my gosh, I'm, le I'm so leaving these in the window. They're these things. And everybody walking by is gonna be like, what? <laughs> Why are these little Santa Clauses in the window? Oh, we've got more of these. Um, well, this is a game. It's called Trap Nimble Ninjas. Hmm. Hmm. These vendors did a lot with games and books. Um, from what I understand, they really knew their games really well. So that's why they had a lot of games. I don't know what this is. This is interesting. Obviously, it's a lighter, but... Um, of a neat design. Hmm. I don't know. I guess you ought to put more liquid in it. There's no mark on the bottom. It's, I think it says Insta Flame. Okay. <laughs> Those Santa Clauses are going to get annoying if I leave them in the window because that's all you guys are going to hear. Oh, 
a little pinup picture. It says, hello, pinup picture in frame. And she's on the telephone. We've got the beast. Um, Tennyson birthday book. It's got some age to it. It has that embossed cover. The electric lighter. Oh, that looks interesting. Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't really understand what's happening in here though. It's new in box, but I don't know what that means. A Magna electric lighter. The electric lighter and a complete service kit. It's got like a little I don't know, a little bulb in there. I don't know why a lighter would need a light bulb, but it has one in case you need it. Ooh, seductively smooth black velvet playing cards. We're gonna skip that one. And that looks risque, super risque. Chesty Morgan. We're gonna skip that one too. <laughs> Oh boy, this box is full of all sorts of fun stuff. Good thing Andrew is in here. Actually, I should set those out for him. He'd get a kick out of that. Here we've got another lighter. Watchmakers, jewelers, importers, line and line, Carlisle, Pennsylvania. That's like a local one. That's pretty neat. Right? It's like they knew something was gonna happen. All right, so I'm just gonna pull a, the last couple of things out of here that even seem interesting to me because I have, it's really hard to hold my interest for very long. And these aren't really my, my type of things. Okay, I think this is it. I think these are the last items that are worth paying attention to in this box. First of all, we've got this. It is a pencil and a calligraphy tool. And we've got this one. This is a pen, it says Garland, USA. It's kind of a nice pen. I like it because it's got a little bear on the end. Do you see the bear? There's a bear on it. And then we've got two pocket knives. This one looks to be an advertisement knife of some sort. Oh yes, Macmillan Feed. Oh, there's a puppy outside the window. And then this one is, I think there would have been something right there. But yes, okay. I'll just give you a peek inside the box. That's everything that's left. Ooh, Marilyn Monroe, I missed that one. Ooh, I think that's everything. Wow, a tractor just went by the window. <laughs> We're like downtown in a tractor. I was not expecting that. Uh, anyway, I think that's everything that we're going to go through in this video. That was a lot of good stuff. I feel like, I feel like the highlight was probably the hair. That was unexpected and really cool. Um, I'd love to know the story behind it, honestly, but I don't think we will ever know the story behind it. It shall remain a mystery. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I think we're going to end the video here. I'm going to put everything away, figure out what we're keeping and what we're not keeping. I'm probably going to give the modern stuff back to Eric because that's not something that we really mess with. And once the world opens back up, he plans on going back to the flea market. And that's definitely stuff that he can get rid of at the flea market. Um, but as far as the vintage stuff goes, I'm all about that. Um, so we are going to separate this out and grab two more boxes. And I will dive into those boxes with you guys tomorrow. So I will see you then later. I have to show you something before you say anything, before you say anything at all. Okay. Should I be afraid? Maybe. Do you know what's in this box? 
Hmm, I do not know what's in the box, but I see Japanese caricatures on the box. And a cartouche. And a signature. Hmm. Wait, 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 wait. I have to get oh, I see hair sticking out of the box. <laughs> I see hair sticking out of the box. That that could be interesting. Um. Okay. <laughs> oh man. So there's nothing. There's nothing odd about people selling human hair. Um, people use it in weaves. Um, it's it's a thing. It's a thing. It, it was. It I was, was expecting more out of you. Sorry. Like, oh, that's weird. It's not. Weird. You had the same reaction that I did, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so here, check this out. So we have a doll. Yeah. Next time we go to my parents' house. Oh, you told me. About we this. have a doll that belonged to my great grandmother. It's got brown hair. It was her brown hair. Yeah. So she let it grow long, and then they cut it and made doll hair. So I have a doll with my great grandmother's hair. That's normal. Also, I got you this. It was, it was a, uh, sincerely yours, Chesty Morgan. Uh, Wait, turn it over. The Zaza, oh my <laughs> God. They're huge. There's uh, too much, that's too much. i filming. <laughs> I know you're filming. Wasn't this the reaction that you wanted? This is why you handed no, me more reaction than the hair. <laughs> a match cover with giant... My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. 